Good afternoon. Ramps are, uh, there's different kinds for different things. Uh, the best traction I think you'll ever get is on a standard mesh, high traction, uh, expanded metal. Um, the thing is though, when you go to load into a pickup, generally they're too heavy and uh, the extra height makes it too, a little too heavy. So that would be the reason a person might look at ramps like this. Um, these are two paired together. Um, they post into here and then to release them, you just release the cam and then lift them out. They're not very heavy at all. But if you're using this kind of ramp, here's the thing. You wanna make sure you pin the top end. So this hole is drilled here. There's a, a, a bolt up there at the front end that aligns into that hole. If the truck would shift, uh, if you spin a tire, um, anything that could happen, uh, you want to pin those ramps. Okay, so we've covered the expanded metal. Now granted, on the trailer, you can use the Gorilla uh, springs or your own or different ways of offsetting the mass of that. So then let's look at something else. There are two more things on ramps. We'll look at the bifolds and then we'll look at another scenario. So if you happen to be doing low, low, low mo, mo loading scenarios, this is the one that I use for my 72 inch hustler. This is just a portion of a ramp and you can kick, you can pick it up with a single finger, right? And it locates on a little stub of the, you know, that'd be underneath the mower, okay? Super simple and easy to use. The whole trailer, the whole setup, super simple, easy to, to use. Uh, because when you're on a 12 inch tire, your overall deck height is quite a bit lower. All right, so then let's go to the last kind, and that's the bifolds. I got two different setups on that, but I'm gonna demonstrate on the Colorado because those are Titans, they're a little bit, well, I'm not gonna say they're better. These big boys are probably pretty good ramps. It's just that I, I didn't get them fixed properly when I put it on that truck. And then of course, with this trailer in the way, I couldn't demonstrate that if I wanted to. But there's a key component to uh, to using bifolds. And here again, the reason you'd use them is because of your loading height and you're wanting to, uh, well, let's look at the side of it. Uh, and you want to keep the weight down for the, the you know day-to-day -day grind, right? Here, let me show you the key component and then I'll demonstrate how this works. The key component on using um, bifolds is to put a connector bar on them. I've done that on every one and I'll show you exactly why. Because that's going to be your lift point. You're going to be... well, I've never done that. Never done that. So you go to a kneeling position and then, and then, and then up. Okay. Then you bring it back and you capture. No. Well, you know how it is. Demonstrations don't always go that good. Uh, I've never lifted it and then <laughs> let it go underneath like that. I don't know. I'm tired. Anyway, and then of course too, this whole truck and system's been sitting and I can't seem to get this cargo buckle to get into the release position. But anyway, so once you get it into that position there, the strap holds it down, holds them straight and steady. And uh, normally there's a mower in here so that you can't flop them too far forward if the mower's in there. So that's what I found to be true about ramps and various different ones and different ways to use them. Um, the best learning method on them is to make a mistake. So, but that's the, that's the most expensive way to learn them. 
All right, you have a good day.